What's up, y'all? It's Cash Motivated. I'm back with another fitness video. I know y'all love these, too. I got a crazy back routine for y'all. Super intense. And the rookie's not going to be able to follow along. So if you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so now. I'm going to wait. Yeah, look. Turn on post notification. Let's turn up on God. All right, y'all, for the start of every workout, you feel what I'm saying? I like to start my workouts just touching up the bed, getting real warmed up, and that way I still keep my hands on me. Let's get started. Alright y'all, to kick off this workout, I'm going to start with three variations of the pull-up. Alternated grip pull-up, close grip pull-up, and then regular pull-ups. This is just really to get that back ready for this monster back workout. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. On the close grip pull-ups, you really want to emphasize bringing that chest to the board. That's very, very, very important. Don't cheat yourself on these pull-ups. If you can only do two, if you can only do three, that's it. Make sure you're going full range of motion and really contracting that back. Guys, check this out. So for this vest, you don't traditionally need it for your pull-ups. Me personally, I like to give myself that extra challenge, add that extra resistance within my workouts. So that's why you see me with this weight vest on. All right, y'all, first exercise for the back workout. You understand we got leverage row. On this, this really focuses on that V taper of your back. So ideally with every workout you do, every single workout, you wanna have your posture straight, and you want to really focus on driving those elbows back. All right, y'all, with the leverage row, I'm going to be doing four sets of 12 on this. You know, um, I feel like it's a good working range for me. I feel like I keep my intensity up that way. And four sets doesn't fatigue me too early in the workout, but also gives me that great pump. y'all for the next exercise we got lat pull downs this is one of my favorite exercises to really focus on those lats really kill those lats um we got four sets of 12 on this remember hold your posture straight keep a straight strong back and really try to focus on emphasizing those lats in your back let's get straight into it <music> So y'all keep in mind, notice how I'm doing my lat pull downs. I'm not swaying my body with a bunch of momentum. It's all controlled movements. I don't have weight that I cannot handle. It's a weight where I'm feel comfortable, where I can control my movements. Everything is stabilized. And that's the key to working out. A lot of people come in here and focus on pushing the heaviest weight in the gym and doing extra. Me personally, I'm for aesthetics. I like to define my my, my body and really craft my body. So look, y'all, next workout, right? We got seated low row. On this one, it's it's a it's an advanced workout, you can say. Um, there's a lot of mechanics that comes into it. When seated, 
pay attention to your posture. Your posture should be completely straight. If you have to over-exaggerate it, over-exaggerate it. You want to bring that bar to the middle of your chest. Really focusing on contracting that back with every movement. And you want to also do an isometric hold. At the, once the bar is to your chest, I suggest you hold it. That pumps the blood to your back. That really, you know, fatigues that back. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. exhausted but look it's the second to last workout we got the barbell shrugs three sets of 12 this is perfect for your traps and i mean perfect so um follow my lead and let's get into it so look y'all when y'all pick up the board you're gonna make a shrugging motion kind of like you're saying i don't know at the top of that shrugging motion you want to have an isometric hold just to really pump the blood into the traps um, this is one of my favorite workouts for traps. I don't oftenly work out my traps, but when I do, I do the barbell shrugs. So let's get straight into the workout. Apologize for the lighting, y'all. It's a little bit dark right here. Um, we're outdoors right now. But look, F all that. This is the final workout of the back routine. You know what I'm saying? We got the T-board row. Three sets until failure. Remind, mind you, this is your last workout. So really leave everything on the line with this one. Leave everything on the line with this one. Um, three sets until failure. So do not cheat yourself. Make sure you go tell failure and let's get it in. All right, y'all. So uh, remember on the T-ball row, you want to grab something like this. Don't use your bare hands. In other gyms, you might have a machine that you can work with. But in my gym, we just have the bar and you know, that's really it. So grab one of these. It's the close grip, you know, little adjuster or however you call this thing. And um, yeah, ideally you want to use this. Boom. Keeping that posture straight. Really focus on the movement and controlling the movement. I always preach to all my clients, control the weight, do not let the weight control you. So let's get straight into it. Hustle for luxury. That concludes today's video. I just killed my back. You feel what I'm saying? I'm exhausted. If you want to see more content like this, comment below. If you messed with this video, subscribe and share it to a friend. You feel what I'm saying? If you got socks on while you watching this video, subscribe. If you love your moms, subscribe. If you support black lives, subscribe. If you don't, Get off the video right now. People don't even want to mess with that. But look, you know, I'm messing with Free Mind Films. You know, we in Orange County killing shit. Tap in for the next video. I'm gone.